Right, in my last video I showed how I used this oil pump which I got off of Banggood. It's a machine oil pump and I connected it up to my countershaft bearings on the Myford ML7. Today I'd like to show you a bit of an upgrade. I've put three-way adapters on the back here and followed the piping through onto my um, main spindle bearings. So now I can use the pump to oil all my headstock assembly on the Myford ML7 which is really brilliant. I don't have to use an oil can anymore on these um, ports. Plus I've still um, retained my um, wick feed oilers so I can give a quick pump on the um, start of machining to actually oil the countershaft the main bearing and then if I'm doing some long machining or long time machining I can undo this um, wick feed oiler um, here so that will just continuously drip onto the main bearing. So to do this upgrade I took the countershaft assembly apart here and I've got a spare one of these I took out the oilers, as I said before on the um, other video, and then I held this um, housing in a vise, um, so the jaws held the um, bronze bearings in place still, and I drilled down through and tapped with 1 8 BSP um, thread right the way through, and then obviously deburred the inside and then reassembled it. And then I made up adapters out of brass to fit all the ports that I'd have these fittings on. I got these fittings off of eBay and they're six millimeter pipe um, fittings, the push fit type. Um, if I push down on the collar, I can actually pull the tubing out and to connect up, it's just push into place right up to the stop and it can't pull out unless you push the collar down. And like I said, I didn't need to make a manifold because I got the six millimeter pipe fittings, the push fit type, um, in these three-way adapters, which I just used on the back. So obviously the hardest part was taking the countershaft assembly apart and um, drilling and tapping, making sure I got it nice and square. I only did this because I had the spare counter shaft if anything went wrong, uh, but I took my time, got the um, drilling and tapping uh, nice and square like I said, and then I put the um, adapters here that I made in with um, a doughty seal on the top here and also some um, PTFE tape on the thread. So I basically used the doughty seal to get the depth right. Um, I didn't want it to screw down onto the actual shaft, so that's the only thing you have to be careful with. These fittings here are 1/8 BSP. Um, this is one here. And obviously just put a doughty on the top here. I made the thread short enough so that when this screws down it seals on the doughty. The same with the um, one on the manifold. So that's a close up of the counter shaft um, bearing fitting. Um, just imagine this um, brass uh, adapter here. I've got 1 8 BSP a male thread going into the counter shaft housing and 1 8 BSP um, coming up into this um, fitting here. And there's enough face on the fitting there to actually seal on this uh, 1 8 BSP doughty. So that's good, that saves me having to use PTFE tape on the top half. Uh, like I say, I used um, 1 8 BSP doughty here just to get the depth right. And I did use PTFE tape on the uh, lower um, male fitting. And that's because I couldn't absolutely guarantee that the doughty would seal on the curve of the counter shaft assembly. I could actually take it apart and use um, like a sealant uh, to actually seal that one up. But this one is um, sealed up nicely with the PTFE tape. So I think I'll leave it at that. And the one on the main spindle bearing housings, I was able to use a 1 8 uh, doughty lower and upper to seal both sides. 
and one thing that's critical if you do this um, upgrade and you're going to do the um, main bearings as well is you, you need equal back pressure to the pump um, in the form of a non-return valve so that it pumps the oil equally if you don't have that um, you'll have a load of oil coming out of the countershaft assembly here and it may not get enough oil into the actual main spindle bearings so what I did was use a button oiler under here in the adapters on each one same button oiler just to cause like a non-return valve and give that equal back pressure and I'll just take this one off to show you that it's a 14 millimeter spanner I'll have to hold the lower half with a pair of pliers. It would actually be better to make the um, adapters with a hexagon bar than a round bar like I've done. But these are made now so I shall leave them as they are. Just take that one off. And there you can see the button oiler in the top there and that's um, drilled through um, with a smaller drill than a quarter inch because be the um, actual housing of the uh, button oiler is um, 253 I think 0.253 thou and then I um, came up to a quarter inch and it drilled it exactly obviously using a smaller drill first and then that was a good push fit in a vise and then I had to run the tap or the die should I say down over the thread again and that one's perfect for this um, fitting so it's an ordinary type um, button oiler it's quite a good quality one I got them off of um, a company I think called Lathes Direct but I'm not sure whether they still sell them you might be able to get these on eBay um, now so you've got a wall bearing in there with a spring obviously and that's enough just to give a bit of back pressure using the same button oiler on each port gives um, the same back pressure or nearly the same I would say very close because it's obviously the same spring in each one and that's enough just to like I say give the back pressure and the equal amount of oil going to each port so if you don't have a button oiler or an equal um, pressure, a non-return valve of some type, you could end up using a lot more oil because it'll come out the counter shaft bearing, like I say, quicker than it will actually go into the main spindle bearings. And I tested that out before I put these in and it did actually come out a lot faster and you can't guarantee that you're getting enough oil into the um, spindle bearing. So that's just a simple method of getting equal pressure to all the ports at once. So now when I pump that one I bleed through again, you can see it coming down through there now. And there's a good witness of oil coming out the counter shaft bearing plus the main bearing. So I know it's oiling everything and I've checked it without the guards on so the um, back one's oiled up as well. It's great that I can actually see the oil going through the pipes. And just before I finish, I'd just like to mention that this pump here has automatic um, return on the spring there. It's a very good quality pump and it has, is actually made um, for this type of purpose for uh, CNC machines or lathes or um, any other machines really. It's an excellent piece of care. Plus the oil pump has an excellent fine gauge lift out filling filter. It's really well made.
and if you buy one it comes with these fittings already fitted to the pump and when you take out the um, nut at the top here the olive for the pipe is inside each port. So that's it, I'm really pleased with this oil system and I think it's the ultimate system for the MyFord ML7. Um, keeping the wick feed oilers as well. It's great to have a manifold like this if you make one up and it's nice and easy to use and dead certain that you're getting enough oil to those bearings. And I'd just like to say that when I took this countershaft assembly apart I found the bearings in here, the phosphor bronze ones, um, nowhere at all in them because I have kept this one really well oiled over the time uh, since I changed those bearings. I was actually surprised at how um, tight the shaft was, there was no movement sideways at all and I'm really pleased. It's uh, most important to use the ISO 32 hydraulic oil and keep these bearings um, really well oiled um, at the beginning of each session on the lathe. 